Hello everyone. Welcome to ASAP's Vlog series. My name is Marie Herman. I lead study groups to prepare students for the Certified Administrative Professional, Google G Suite, and Microsoft Office Specialist certifications. I also teach technology and career development programs to office professionals. Today, I'm going to be sharing some tips with you on integrating Office with OneDrive. OneDrive is the cloud storage tool that Microsoft provides for your files. Using it provides some advantages that you'll want to be aware of. So let's take a look. I'm going to switch over to the online version of my OneDrive account. From here, I can see all of the files that are in my cloud storage. So I see my desktop, I see my documents, downloads, etc. I can also organize these files any way that's useful to me. So I could create a new folder. I could click on new and create a new folder and name it with whatever I want to storage. This is important storage. Create a new folder. I can click and drag and move things into this folder and I can also move it over into my Windows File Explorer as well. But that's not all that I can create directly from inside OneDrive. OneDrive is very well integrated with Microsoft Office. So notice I have the option on the new menu to not only create that new folder, but to create new files directly from inside OneDrive. So I could create a Word document, an Excel spreadsheet, a PowerPoint presentation, a OneNote notebook, a form survey using Microsoft Forms software, or a plain text document. So if I were to click on an Excel workbook, for example, that will open up Office 365 online, in this case, the Excel program. And from here, I have the same options available to me in the online version that I would have in the desktop version. Although truthfully, there's some additional functionality available within the desktop version. So if I wanted to, I could actually open this in the desktop instead of running it online. All I need to do is click this button to have that open up. Once I've saved a file, inside of OneDrive, and this automatically was saved when it was created, I can then share that file. So if I click share in the top right corner, it'll bring up an option for creating a link that I can send to other people to share this file with. All I need to do is enter a name or an email address. So if I put in an alternate address that I have, I can enter that and I can then send them a link to this file so that they could work on it with me to collaborate on the results. That sends a link over to the file. They will receive an email telling them that the file has been shared with them. They can then click the link inside the email and come here and edit this document even if I'm editing it at the same time. So OneDrive gives you that flexibility to do the online collaboration. I'm going to go ahead and exit out, actually. From my little tic-tac-toe grid here in the top left corner, I can go directly to OneDrive, or I could go back to my files up here on the top. OneDrive doesn't just let you save your files, and it's not just that it's cloud storage. The real beauty of OneDrive is that you can actually access your files from anywhere in the world. You can have internet access, log in, just go to the website for onedrive.live.com, sign in, and you'll have access to all of your files no matter where you are in the world. And that is truly one of the biggest benefits of it. Alternatively, you can back up all of your photos as well. So you can install the OneDrive app onto your phone and have it link up where every time you take a picture, it automatically uploads it into your OneDrive account. So you won't have any risk of losing your photos if you lose your phone. That's one of the nicer features as well of OneDrive. Something else that you could choose to do with OneDrive is set it up to back up all the files in your current computer. 
Uh, when you're working with OneDrive, you'll see an icon down at the bottom of your screen. And if you don't see it, like I don't have one there at the moment, I can do a search for OneDrive. It'll pull up the app for me. And when I open that, I will then have the little cloud icon on the bottom of the screen. So I can access my OneDrive account from inside the Windows File Explorer. It will tell me the status of those files. So when you see a status with a cloud icon, that's an indication that that file is located on the cloud only. When you see a check mark, that's an indication that that file is actually available on the local computer. You can actually designate some of your files, if you choose, or your folders to be available all the time on your local device. So for example, if I go to this folder called MRH Enterprises LLC and I right mouse click, that brings up this menu. On that menu, one of the choices is always keep on this device. That will ensure that any of the files in that folder, and I can choose this on an individual file or on the whole folder, always keep on this device, will put that onto this computer. So even if I'm not connected to the internet, I still have access to my OneDrive files. So I can click that. It will go through and start transferring over the files. You'll have them set up on your computer so that you'll have access to them in both locations. When you see the icon that looks like two little arrows, that's an indication that it's in the process of synchronizing. And so when you have your files on your local computer and on your OneDrive account, you will see that they will stay synchronized. You can make changes and it will get updated with the OneDrive account. Even if you're not connected to the internet at that time, it'll update the next time you connect to the internet. When you click on the individual files to look at that status, you can right mouse click as well. And if you wanted to, you could choose to free up space. And that means that if you have files that you opened up, and so when you opened them up, they were saved to your computer, but now they're closed and you're no longer working with them, freeing up space means they'll be put back onto the online cloud system and they won't be on your local computer anymore. So that's a way that you can free up space on your hard disk if you need to uh, with your OneDrive. If you go down to the icon in the bottom right corner that looks like a blue or perhaps a white cloud, depending, uh, you will see that is OneDrive. And when you click on that with your left mouse button, you can have the option to open up that folder, which will open it up like it is here in the File Explorer. You can choose to view this online, which will take us back to our internet browser window of Microsoft OneDrive. And you have a more option at the end. The more option gives you a couple of additional choices. So you have that open your OneDrive folder. As I said, that's going to open up the file explorer. You also have settings. And in the settings, you can change some of the options, including if you want to have files backup. So there's a tab here for backup. You can see important PC folders. You can back up the files in your desktops, documents, and pictures folders to OneDrive so they're protected and available on other devices. So it will locate these folders on your computer, your laptop, your desktop, and back them up to your OneDrive account so that you'll have access to them no matter where you are which is a nice way of kind of being able to do a remote access to your computer. And it also means if your laptop crashes or gets stolen, you still have access to your files. So this is one of the strengths of OneDrive is that ability to not only integrate into Office, but also to back up all these important files and have them available at a moment's notice so that you don't have that moment of panic if your computer crashes where you're thinking, oh, oh my gosh, I've lost all my files. That's just one of the most horrible feelings anyone can go through that works with technology. This will take care of it automatically for you so that you don't have to worry about doing it manually and remembering to back up those files every week or every day. It'll take care of those automatically. So that is Microsoft's OneDrive product 
I hope that this is something that you will explore. I think more and more businesses are switching over to OneDrive. It has security functions built into it that meet the requirements for HIPAA and for many of the other legal requirements for confidentiality of data. So while there are still some companies that are not yet choosing to go to cloud storage, those numbers are getting smaller every year because more and more companies are starting to fully utilize OneDrive and SharePoint and the other cloud storage options that Microsoft offers. So thank you all for joining me for this presentation. I hope this has helped you have a better understanding of OneDrive and what it can do for you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And thanks to ASAP for having me as part of their vlog series.